Hey everybody, uh, gonna be doing one second. Seventy nine percent. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, uh, I, I'm very curious as to whether or not Aaron Aaron Sun's missing about thirty to forty percent of the boss damage. But like, once he has his pots all online, it's gonna be damn scary. Like, have you seen his lead? Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty messed up. Yeah, when he has it all transcended, you know what? We're gonna do a show off uh, real quick. Uh, hey YouTube, this is me and Studmaster. Um, we're going to be uh, walking you through the ins and outs of today's raid. There is a potential um, a better strategy with a counter bell uh, instead of bearman in uh, a different position, but it's um, I, I'm not 100% sure on whether or not it's going to be something that's going to be hugely game changing for us because our leads are so powerful that we'll be able to get to a certain kind of damage point anyway. So it's kind of a why are we bothering? So this is my Lee. Um, currently the best one in chance. I'm very proud of that because very soon it's not going to be if, if Aaron keeps going the way he's going. Uh, 45,500 attack. 101. Uh, you know, once I forgot the screen share with Stud, so he's not getting to, to admire even though he already knows what it looks like. There we go. Um, um, 100% crit rate. That's very important uh, for today. Um yeah. Oh, you know it was ridiculous. Um, I could have had forty six thousand. <laughs> I made a mistake. Yeah. The the thing I screwed up was uh, my uh, sword I was making today. I I've only, like I don't know if you've noticed, but like I had the full set, and like, I've I've just from pulls uh, for this uh, four star set, I've gotten a sword, a helmet, and an accessory. Every other piece I've ever pulled from it has been a sword, and I've had to convert it. And what I forgot to do, because I, I was just really low on gold, and I was waiting uh, to get all this stuff transcended after the 5 million for the, the weekly reward, but I forgot to take my pink ranger uh, plus 12 and plus 13 pieces off of crut from Fridays and put them back on Lee. And I have the pink crit rate by defense potential on my, uh, my, my plus 13 pink ranger set. So... What happened was, I was like, oh man, I'm 1% away from 100% crit rate. But when I was going through my gear before, I was like, oh, it's okay, cool. I was going to roll on my other pink ranger, and then I checked my plus 13 one. I was like, oh, it's already got It's pink. That's amazing. So that'll give me the, a little bit extra crit rate here, a little bit extra crit rate there. But I only needed to have a plus 12. Um, yeah. And I could have saved the sword and made my sword plus 12. Yeah, well, no, just one one transcend. Um, but I could have had, that's another... 99% crit rate, like... Negligible, like, compared to the extra, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is, it, with my well, you can, as you can see, I'm 101 percent now. So I was like literally just barely over 100 percent, not even the 0.32. It was like 0.07 or something like that. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot to put the pink ranger on. Crap! I put it on. It gave me an extra 1.2 or something like that percent. I was so upset. Um, but uh, I. I could have had this sword at extra 300 attack or something like that. Let's see. Yeah, up 304 attack more, which would have put me up to 46,000 attack with the potentials. So that was upsetting. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, I'm I'm planning to uh, to pull again tomorrow and get uh, my sword to plus 13. Then the only other thing I need to do is get this to plus 13, this to plus 13, this to plus 13. Like when everything is like when I'm fully transcended, I'm easily going to have 50, at least 50,000. At least 50,000. The only thing that I'm really hoping uh, doesn't change is that the God of Massacre thing that we saw. There was a, a video in Japanese server, and they have the God of Massacre on sale right now. The guy was pulling caps. <sighs> Oh, so it's actually not even in collection anymore either. Yeah, so therefore, put one and one together, it's not coming back. All right. Anyway, if it ever does come back, I hope it does too. Anyways, guys, um, obviously you want as much attack by HP, uh, crit damage, damage to boss. I'm using this set uh, for the 16% crit damage. It was really hard working it in without being able to help a born assassin or something like that for the extra crit rate, but definitely possible. Um. These are the kind of, like the pink ranger and the high human set are kind of non negotiable. Now, I, I don't have a third high human piece, uh, so I'm using this really overpowered necklace, um, which is very hard to replace with anything, uh, to be honest, with pots like that. Yeah. Yeah. 
You have the exact same pods? Yeah. Oh, damn, son. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that it, there's no... Like, when I when they came up with Platinum Gear, or they announced it or whatever, I thought it was going to be you can upgrade your vanilla gear to turn into Platinum, and I was really upset when it was just, like, this extra thing that the only way to get really tons of it is just from a huge amount of playing or pulling caps. If you need to have a Platinum piece now, you'd have to... It, it was easier to get set pieces than platinum pieces for people who didn't have any, you know. Um, but if you don't have the set, you're probably going to need to use the ring for the high human, and the um, and and maybe if you don't only have two pieces, maybe a ring for high human. Then have, instead of having the mace, you could have perhaps a nice transcended bow uh, for the crit rate, because then you have a ring plus a bow. So that that's another way to maintain your 100% crit rate. Anyway, that is the first uh, thing. Now the other thing is Sion needs to be geared. Um, enough to be able to snipe these uh, minions so she doesn't get killed. Uh, her being alive is 100% necessary because you want her to be geared with... Oh, I'm a 5-star here. Uh, you want her to be geared with things that are going to buff the whole party, like uh, this set right here. Um, but she shouldn't really get hit uh, if she's 4-star. She should be strong enough to one-shot uh, all the minions um, at every point in time. Uh, and this is going to be able to get you uh, all your Lee's attacks in without him turning around to attack one of the minions in the middle of the strategy. Um, so, uh, give me a second, I got a call. Alright, okay. So I'll be back, I'll just keep explaining the little details of the strategy. Uh, last piece is uh, Lulid and Lily. Um, well, I guess if you want to count Bearman. Uh, Bearman uh, is who we're using right now to keep the boss turned in the one direction. Also, build them with some really overpowered stuff, whatever. Like, not necessary at all to even have them equipped. Um, but uh, if you build them with some OP stuff, maybe you can get it, keep them alive for a long time. It is possible with a different formation that we don't want to bother experimenting with this week uh, with Counterbell um, in a separate position. Um, so we it's it's a little bit sketchy. We might not be able to get the tile, um, but it should be it should be. 100% possible to do it, and it shouldn't have any negative repercussions. Um, but we're going to test it next week. This week we're competing with the other servers, so uh, everybody try to be on their best behavior uh, for this uh, this week, and we'll be, Chance will be posting all the videos that we are using currently with our strategies, and hopefully you guys can uh, hop on. So very important is that Lilith has some hit rate. I'm actually going to throw another sword on him just because. Sure, this one's even got hit rate on it. Fantastic. Um, you want him to have hit rate because the boss will get a, a decent amount of dodge. I think 12 or 13 percent uh, when he's going to be killed, uh, and if he dodges, a little will not pull him in. So, and like, uh, yeah, I've had the three percent dodge happen to me, and it it hurts. It hurts quite a lot. Uh, the next thing is uh, Lily. Also, uh, you want Lily's hit rate to be uh, up there also. So just make sure that you have somewhere between 10 and 15 percent credit. I believe the boss's dodge rate is like nine or ten percent um so ten uh, to be safe but whatever uh, it doesn't really matter if they're if they have swords equipped it's not going to change anything at all um so that's it so we're going to go into the first oh sorry lord masteries uh battle mastery should be something like this attack crit rate scissor mastery those are the three most important ones the next would be hp and uh because i'm using the bearman and having him try to sustain for a bit i dump my rest of my points into defense um, some people might dump into co-op instead for a stronger first attack, but seeing as how really nobody's actually geared for the co-op attack uh, in the first initial sh shot, it's really not um, really not necessary to have co-op at all. Uh, so I'm going attack, crit rate, scissor mastery, HP, and I dump my last few points into defense. All right, uh, you back, stud? Um, yeah, I'm back. Um, okay. Okay, sounds good. Yeah, business calls are always good. We we need uh, we need money. We love money here at Chance. Uh, <laughs> all right, one second. Is Quovens Lee up right now, or is he? Yeah, he's around. So we're gonna take a look at Quovens Lee, just so everybody can see the kind of output we got here. I think Quoven has the next strongest Lee other than me uh, currently, but Lord and Blue Sapphire and um, uh, Mike Junior and Aaron Son are. Like and Kazna and Platina and Wasabi actually, we we've got quite a lot of very powerful leaves. So 99.98 percent crit rate, <laughs> and that is legendary. Oh boy. Okay, so it looks like Quovens uh, might be 
just about as strong as mine. He's um, basically got the same thing, so it really comes down to potentials. Same damage to boss, lower attack. Well, we can we can see the attack difference is, is negligible. It's two well, two thousand is kind of negligible. Um, yeah, if he was able to get the mace um, uh, and then ran a necklace, then I, I completely agree with that. Uh, he he would uh, beat me every day of the week. Um, I don't think he can because he's sitting at ninety nine point nine eight percent crit rate right now. So he would have to get the time for your shot set. Oh, okay. He's missing. Yeah. All right. Let's let's take a look. All right. So he's missing. Uh, well, this is just a low attack. Um, this is basically that's perfect. Just not ideal. Yeah, the crit rate's low on this one, but it's the forgotten hitter set. How can you forget? It's got a ring too, doesn't it? Yeah. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, damage to boss, damage to boss again, damage to boss again here, attack by HP. Uh, also crit rate by defense, that's a good one. Crit damage, damage to boss, attack by HP. He doesn't have the crit rate on this, but that's basically perfect. 0.1 HP off. Uh, HP damage to boss, attack by HP. Uh, yeah, that's 0.7, that's basically perfect too. So he's he's got basically perfect boss damage potentials. Attack damage, crit damage, missing crit rate, but has flat crit rate, so he decided to keep it because he's basically right on the cusp there. Um, so that's awesome. Like, a lot of these are just very slightly weaker than mine. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, if he can get this set switched out for the time for your shot, um, what's also nice is uh, like he still keeps the uh, the attack mastery, uh, but it'd be really hard to replace this crit damage, damage to boss, and 1.2 attack by HP. So this is that would probably be a kind of a negligible switch um but it's also a bow so it might be a slightly less attack for him depending on his potentials um but his damage is down by a full percent and his crit damage is 1.1 like so that's 2.1 percent right there just with that piece so it's not like he couldn't make a better one Ooh, a pink crit damage and attack damage missing crit rate again yeah right, so he's just missing a ton <laughs> All right, but this is uh, this is looking pretty scary. So I wonder if this is even able to hit uh, the same damage uh, as mine. To be completely honest, all right. Well, oh, you know what? My crit rate potentials look at the exact opposite of this. With if this 380 was a 390, mine are all pink with one 390. <laughs> so if you could just roll that 380 to a 390, he'd probably be up there to, to 400 again. Sorry, to a full 100%. All right, so we're gonna go with Quoven's uh, Lee for the first strategy. Now the only thing that could possibly go wrong here is if we get countered. <laughs> uh, yeah, my Lord Gage is full. Alright, so this is the formation. Bearman, Sion. You could go Sion first if you're quick enough with the arrows. I like to have the extra little bit of time. Sion has to attack the minion before you cast the arrows. Uh, but Bearman, Sion, Lee, Lilith, Lily, and of course the Lee Mercenary. So we'll take Quoven. And enter dungeon. Sorry about the long intro, everybody. <sighs> it's good stuff, though. Yeah, well, you know, we got this. We got this great, uh, this this great uh, two-man video thing to help cure the long periods of silence with just me breathing heavily into the microphone. So it's all good now. All right. So first off, Bearman goes right. Oh wait, do I even remember this? Bearman stands on this. No, he goes right here, and then he takes the sigil. Yeah, he he takes the sigil. Like just in front of the sigil, if you want. Oh yeah, that's right. Because I don't want him to hit the boss. Yeah, man. Uh, sorry, I'm a little bit tired. <laughs> All right, Sion, though you do want to be on the sigil. Now, if you don't, no, I did this for like two weeks. So <laughs> trust me, it's it's not as common knowledge as you think. If you do not start with Sion on the sigil, then your Lee will attack this lower minion here. Um, basically all the time. Every time, it, like this minion will be killed by Lee, so you'll lose an attack from nearly every single time. If you start with Sion on the sigil, for whatever reason, she just derps her position differently, and she winds up in a position where she always kills this minion first, and then this one second, so that uh, and Lee. She'll never get hit too. Yeah, and she'll never get hit also, so she won't take any damage. So it's like it's it's. It seems like almost nothing, but not taking the scissor sigil right away. Uh, is like the biggest advantage in the game. Uh, sorry, in this ma this map. Uh, Lee goes right here behind the boss. Uh, Lilith goes right here 
in front of Bearman, so he can pull the boss over the one tile. Lily goes directly behind the boss, and the lastly comes five, uh, just one, two, three, four, sorry, four directly in front of uh, of that boss there. So he stays in his position, and he's one, two, three, four, five away from the tile with this minion between uh, or right to the right of Lily that you can kind of see in the top corner there. All right, now when you start. Just go get your arrows ready first things first. Get the arrows. Let Sion attack. Use the arrows. So it kills the rest of the minions. It opens up the position for um, uh, that tile to be occupied by the boss. Now Lilith pulls in, and hopefully nothing goes wrong here. Boss stays there, and then Lily smacks him into place. Now. From this position, you basically just switch to uh, the guild shelling, and you can walk away from your computer. There's nothing that can go wrong from here. Uh, Lilith and Lily are going to die, and they absolutely have to die, so make sure that they die. And now Lee walks into his final position. And now we just get to sit back and chill and kind of laugh at who does the most damage here. You can actually uh, use combat support too. That regens mana. Yeah, uh, combat support does regen mana um, as well. Uh, if you're trying to keep your Bearman alive, it's really a non-issue for me because I've got about 20% HP regen on him right now, so I don't need to use it until maybe boss four. I also up to soul gear a bit so I can get some stuns off cheaply. I'm trying to keep my Bearman alive for like 20 turns. <laughs> Did Mike just say he thinks Coley's better than mine? No, mine is. Nope. <laughs> it's not even close anymore, unfortunately. It's not even close anymore? Why not? Uh, isn't it? Right? Look, 57,000. Wait, wait. 57, 9, 10? Is his boss damage potential better than mine? There's no way, right? <laughs> Oh, you know what? I'm actually missing 4% crit damage on my 5-star mace. I got 16%. Alright, 17, 3, 4, 5. What's he hitting? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, crap. Quoven is stronger than me? God oh, damn it. Well, I'm going to have to hope. Oh, shoot. Oh, shit. Oh man, it's always hard to find. Um, is there like a punctuation thing I can do for? Ah, oh, whatever. I'll just go slash wrist. There we go. I was trying to think of a wrist emoji thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Well, that's very unfortunate. Oh crap! Well, don't rub it in now. You're gonna make me. Because <laughs> so he's using the forgotten hitter set, so he's gonna have to drop some uh, some mag coin to get uh, the forgotten hitter transcended to 13. Oh man, I'm so jelly now. Yeah, but you're right. If I and he used a necklace, and he had those percent crit rates. It, he'd blow me away. Yeah. Oh, but that's. Assuming he gets a perfect 20, he's got 20% crit damage on his bow. So maybe what should happen is I should make a ring. By the way, real road means I'm just I'm petty. Oh, I've not been paying attention. Bearman's totally gonna die. Yeah. <laughs> oh well. You win some, you lose some. Back to guild shelling. We'll do that next turn. Our next uh, next run. You were too busy being disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. 
14. He's hitting 14 8. Oh man, that stinks. <laughs> oh, crap. Like, I'm, I'm happy because, like, damn. But damn, still OP. Like, <laughs> like, like I said, my goal is to have five Lees in the guild exactly like mine, so we can just. Everybody has needs. Well, if if we had five exactly just like mine, and some of the weaker members could kill boss level eight, whatever, with just mine, yeah. then everybody would be able to kill boss eight with the five we had. Is the the goal right? So if we can all kill boss level eight, then. Or is it nine? What boss level do we get to in this? Okay. If we could all kill boss level eight. Well, we have a few that can't even kill seven yet, so. Oh, well, they'll kill it this week. Kill seven. Man, where am I missing a little few points? Where can I refine something? Forgotten Zitter had OP. Or forgotten hitter set. <laughs> or you can like try a luck, try to get that twenty percent crit damage. <laughs> yeah, just try. Uh, well, you know what? If if I can go back in time to the hundred uh, potion things, now that I know this, I think I might try. <laughs> Next time I have a hundred five star potions, I'll do it. But the pots I got on my my sword are overpowered, you know, like my, my uh, lava set. They're so good. They're so good because the crit rate's not an issue. It's basically the same as the forgotten hitter set if it's not transcended, you know. Um, or actually, it's a bit, it's a bit stronger attack wise because, um, I believe forgotten oh, sitter. It's a mace? Oh, okay. I thought it was a, a bow for some reason. No, it's a ring. That's right. It's a ring mace. Damn, forgotten hitter set's so OP. You know what? When I win the lottery, I'll just buy this game. I'll, bu I'll just buy it off Nexon, and I'll just give myself all perfect stuff. <laughs> We're going to expect you to come out with the content, too. Yeah. <laughs> I'll just come out with all of the content that I feel like. I'll just force things to be done and be like, guys, you know what? Shame on you for releasing a game that's not complete. Also, shame on you for making new sets that weren't out. Now that you made this new set, the other sets are obsolete, blah, 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 blah. Like, I hated when they brought out that Knight of Dawn's SS set. This is like the, the, basically the exact same thing as the Born Assassin set, you know? Just a little bit more. <laughs> Just, well, you know what, Transcendence? At this, like, first they bring that set out, like, hey, look, we have a very slightly stronger Born Assassin, so it's like, Perfect crazy elitists are always oh, going to get 14k's. Oh man, I was like like 20 points away from 14k per tick, and I'm like, oh crap, that means he's going to be in the next range of thousands. This is a big deal now, stud, <laughs> for just this level six boss. Um, oh, what was I rambling about? Oh yeah, the Knight of Dawn set. Uh, the Knight of Dawn set. Uh, like right when it came out, it didn't come out with Transcendence, right? It came out the patch before that. Yeah. When they were releasing all these. Uh, Sets with uh, attack. Oh man, I'm 18 points away per tick. Oh, wow. uh. seven, seven. Yeah, yeah, you'll definitely kill the boss. Oh you'll my goodness, I, he's he's hitting 20 damage more per tick. This is driving me crazy. I wish I did not mess up that ring transcend. I, you know what I feel like doing? I feel like going to farm a bunch of coins because I still have the four star hammer in the shop, and then I can transcend it right now. <laughs> Oh. I'm still farming the fan five star hammer. I need it for my Omni bow. On the blue? Yeah, so that'll be like 600 more attack. And yeah. Factor in all the percent attacks. Are you still doing all your stuff on stud, all the dailies and everything? Um, occasionally. <laughs> occasionally? It's just like, well, you know what, blue is, like, he is not coming back. Like, he's just, he's never coming back. So, like, now it's kind of safe to just say. Yeah. Because you know the pots on my leaves, um, all the pots on my on my leaves, uh, weapons and gear, they're like OP. Yeah, they're like you're of of all, the, and you have Sierra also. Does Zero have Sierra? Does Does Zero have Sierra? No. 
no, and she's basically she's very pivotal uh, yeah. piece to Friday and Saturday starts so Saturday and Sunday. Oh man, Mike Jr. got <laughs> lost fifty down to eight k. Oh crap, <laughs> he's not strong enough. Oh, that sucks. That's eight k. You know what? He just doesn't have his bearing man strong enough. That's that's the problem. For the eight k, what he could also do is get the Lily for get Lily to overkill <laughs> with the launch. Just put a bunch of only weapons on there and hope that does the extra eight k. But <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is upsetting to watch. I can't believe that Quovens made his lead stronger than mine. Oh, this is... Oh, man. I've always been so proud of my lead. Like, when I was crazy for BOH, it was like... The best. Yeah, my lead was... You know what? People would, would comment very frequently that my my lead doesn't represent Lee. <laughs> but people would always say it was such BS to say that my lead is what Lee's capable of. Uh, because I, I I did so many micro refinements. Uh, like I spent more on mod potions and things like that for like more like of all the gear I disassembled and things like that. I got mod potions, whatever. I spent more mod potions um, and mana stones refining Lee's potentials just to be very perfectly at the 100% crit while maximizing his attack the absolute best I could. Uh, and crit damage and all the potentials always had to be perfect and everything just outrageous amounts uh <laughs> like like getting lee an extra one percent damage was like building an entire hero uh for me so. <laughs> but uh now it's like all about the guild raid so i'm basically very content with my build the way it is right now the only thing i'm not happy with is my transcendence levels um and like i said i could probably get up to between 50 and 55k attack so uh, if everything was perfectly transcended, especially with my attack by HP potentials, they're LP. Actually, read one of the comments on your uh, your Sunday demos video. Yep. And then one of the guys did uh, fantasy Lee tactics. Yeah. <laughs> it's, kind of true. it's accurate. It's yeah. Five or seven guild raids, right? Yeah. Well, he. All right. You know what? What makes Lee the absolute. Like I don't know. I think Jay did a tier list video for um, Guild Raid, right? Right. Yeah. Like I, I don't know where he placed uh, Lee, but the number one hero for Guild Raid is Lee. Like uh, Lilid and Lily are amazing specialists. Like obviously, frame manipulation is very broken since we have a static map that's never changing, and we just have all the time in the world to make things work. But Lee is the only hero with a level 4 and level 5 5 range skill. Um, well, actually, does Sion have 4 and 5? Oh, sorry. Yeah, for, yeah, all right. Uh, but hers are, like, one's a straight line direction, aren't they? Yeah, one's like a diagonal 5. Yeah, so, like, sh she like she doesn't work. Like, Lee literally is the only hero with two legitimate 5 range skills that are 5 range in all directions. Plus his second skill is, like, like it, it's one of the things that people would always say badly about Lee is that you need a turn to turn on his second skill. So that's like a downside. Where here in Guild Raid, it's like everything's AI controlled. It's like, well, while I'm using this downside, I'm gonna blow the crap out of my next round's damage. Uh, <laughs> and now with Friday, with us being able to activate the passive with Gillen, it's like, yeah, level forty-eight. So I got uh I got two more uh two uh like after I killed the boss I have two uh second skills and uh two sorry four second skills and two um third skills left. Oh, I shouldn't have used that guild shelling there. I'm going to have to go and recharge my my gauge. You're going to be the person who makes me remember to actually because I every week I have done this at least one time or I haven't gotten my like, kill. <laughs> And it's usually because I'm distracted with something else. Oh, man. Dude, you could totally, uh, with Miley, um, you got, what was it, 32 million on Fridays? You could totally get that. Oh, you mean, uh, for the Fridays? Yeah. Yeah, well, Quovens Lee is definitely broken. We're going to have to get some crazy investment into raising Lee's wings, uh, from here on out. Uh, I, I've already used all my stuff, and, uh, I did oh, not. 170 million on Friday. That's yeah, 
I don't know what my uh, all right, anyways uh, this is going to be the end of this video guys um, that's just because I'm already probably running really long uh, so there we go uh, I might post next week uh, the way to do it with counter bell instead of bear man because it does look like it's going to be quite a lot better um, but depending on the strength of the leaves really not that much better by a whole lot but we'll see I think it'd probably be able to uh, be possible to get maybe 27 million from 26 but uh, we'll see anyways thanks for watching this is uh, Barzerk and uh, Studmaster getting out of here and uh, look forward for us tomorrow for tomorrow's strategy with the OP Muzaka <laughs>